Hey guys, it's Sophia Ritchie. I'm gonna be showing you guys my day-to-day -day natural, not natural makeup look. So let's get started. All right, my first step here is going to be Lancer face wash. You will notice most of my skincare is Lancer. He is my family dermatologist and I've been going to him since I was 13. As you can tell, my skin is a little pink. I have very sensitive skin. So that's why all my products are all sensitive based. Um, my next product I'm going to be using is the Lancer Nourish. I love this because I'm naturally very oily. So it's hard for me to find a product that is hydrating without making me like look like I'm sweating. <laughs> so next I'm gonna be putting the Mario Badescu rose spray, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. My dad probably gets his nails, his hair, and gets facials more than me, so I aspire to be like him. He is obsessed with skincare. He is the person who will come to me and be like, I love you, your skin looks a little dry, maybe you need a facial. I love you, your skin's a little dry, maybe we should do a mask. That's who my dad is. So my next step is the Lancer Danny Glow Primer. It has a little bit of a tint to it. So the next thing I am going to be applying is the La Mer Eye Concentrate. And I put that on under my eye mask. So I'll put this here. I never really understood people with dark under eyes and then all of a sudden, life came down on me about a year ago and I woke up and I was like, do I have a black eye? Nope, I'm tired. If I'm going to like a shoot, I will wake up and drive with these all the way to the shoot until I get into the makeup chair. So I try to leave them on for as long as possible. Okay, this little tool right here, everybody, I call it the pick me up. It is, come on, there we go. It vibrates, it gets blood flow going. It kind of gives me that contour right there that I want. Um, so my, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but my skin is so bad when I fly. I break out, I'm dry. So when I travel, I always have these little eye patches. I have face masks. I have these rollers to get my blood flowing. So now that we're done with this, I'm gonna peel these little pads off. This is the Glow Stick um, Sunscreen SPF by Supergoop. I wear sunscreen every single day. I think it's very important to keep your skin safe. Soft Focus Glow Drops, love these. I learned how to do my makeup by watching my mom do her makeup and by YouTube tutorials. I had like an emo stage, which I don't even think I wanted to be emo. I just didn't know how else to do my makeup except do eyeliner like this. And then there was like the preppy girl where I only wear like light pink lipstick and blush. We all go through our stages. It's about finding what is right for you. So what I use is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. I'm obsessed with this. I think this is new. It's bamboo grass and it's silk. E. like your skin looks like butter. I'm gonna mix this Bobbi Brown Silk with a little bit of my Becca foundation. These two combined make magic on my skin. No matter if you think your foundation is exactly your color, blend it down just in case someone's seeing something you're not seeing. Cause there is nothing worse than seeing that line. And also this line, like what? Get in there. The combination of those two. I'm done. That's it. That's the end of the video. Just kidding. Next step, I'm going to do concealer. So I use two different concealers because I one's lighter for my under eye um, and it's not as thick. It's the Laura Mercier. It's color 2.5. Oh my God, I really need to learn how to reposition this hand. It's so not cute. All right, so now that I'm done 
with the concealer on my under eye. I am going to jump right in with my Laura Mercier powder. Everyone needs to own this. Mine's a little broken, so it comes out of the side. And I'm just gonna bake right under there so that crease never happens. Go away. You're never happening. Chanel, bronzer, heaven. Honestly, sometimes I use this all over my face. I'm just like, all right, today's a bronzy day. Let me just dump this all over my face. I put like a little bit right on the sides of my nose. And a dot right there. I don't know why, but I always do. So my next step, I'm gonna take my other concealer, which is the Hourglass, and this is color beige. So I have a few marks here. So I'm just gonna go in, cover these up. And this is like so silky on the skin. I love this product. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna come back to the Laura Mercier powder and wherever, whatever blemish that I covered, I'm gonna go back and just, just bake it because I don't want them to be here. And then, Just a little line on the jaw. I bake depending on what's going on in my life. But today I'm going to meetings and I'm gonna be running around and I'm more likely to sweat. So I don't wanna be oily. Speaking of sweat, this is my area that I totally forgot to cover, right here. I always get shiny right here. And I always bake right there and it saves my life. I never have to go in and touch it up through the day if I let that sit. Next, I'm going to use my butter bronzer. I love this bronzer. It is from Rite Aid and it is my favorite bronzer ever. It smells so good. I'm gonna take this right into there. Okay, so obviously I'm at my parents' so house. So sorry. Did I mess up the whole thing? I am so sorry. Oh my okay, God. I'll just kind of think back hello. Well, goodness. you have to come in and say hello to me hello, now. Oh dear. Do you want to tell us about your beauty routine? Yes, my beauty routine is sleep and water. Okay. And I guess that's all I need to do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. For now. Next, I'm gonna go into, um, what's it called? A blush. <laughs> it's coming together. It's happening. I'm gonna come back to this super goop. And I'm gonna put it right here. My cheekbone. And right here. So now that I put the glow on my cheeks, I am going to go back to this Kylie palette. The people that do my makeup know that when this starts to happen, it's gotta go. This is Lip Medics Listex. Keeping it simple, ladies. Keeping it simple. I'll start with my eyebrows. I love doing eyebrows. Um, I feel like it's very important to a makeup routine. Guys, and don't worry about this. I know this is still there. We're gonna handle that last. My goal is to be like, oh my god, I woke up like this. And I didn't really try that hard, but I did do 30 minutes of makeup, so. I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I have one bad eyebrow, and this is the brow. Like this, I like don't have hair. I don't know. We all have a bad side. So yeah, I kind of do my strokes like this. Like I want it to look like a hair. Boom. Killed that. 
Next very, very important step, eyebrow gel. Always gel your eyebrows up, because no one wants to see sad downward eyebrows. No one wants to see it. You know what I used to do all the time, which is really funny, I used to, <laughs> I used to be so confused at the end of the day, like I work so hard to gel my eyebrows up. Why are they down? And I realized I would gel my eyebrows and then I'd put on a tight top and the gel would gel them down. It took me years to figure out why. I just thought my brows wanted to be down. Important to keep them up. Hmm. Let me figure out what palette I want to use. I think I'm gonna do Dior because I just kind of want to keep it in that like neutral brownies right now. And I'm gonna be using the Highlighter Light. You make so many weird faces when you do your makeup. I'm like, why am I doing that? I'm gonna use this one. I used to do, like, this is something I also figured out along my career of doing my makeup. You can blend this up. It doesn't have to be this solid line right here. Just blend. If something doesn't look right to you, keep blending. You can see a difference. It's just kind of like, I'm not trying too hard. I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna swipe away this little bake I had here. If you have like little circles under your eye, this next step will help. I'm gonna go in with this brush and just highlight under, or sorry, bronze under my eye. And then if you have dark circles, like I said, you can bring it down. And I feel like you don't have to be nervous when you're using like bronzy tones or like light browns. Like they all just mix well. You guys are getting the full experience. I usually just call someone on the phone while I do my makeup and babble on like this, but you guys are getting it today. Yes! And look, it just went Me? You're talking to me? Yes! We're doing it! Okay, so next, we're gonna blow out this little bakeroon. Bakeroon? Wipe it all away to see what we're working with, just in case we need to um, de shine anything. Um, I don't really like to bake my forehead, so I'll just go back and with Laura Mercier and powder it. Honestly, for this eye situation, if you're nervous about it looks crazy, it looks dark, just use the bronzer that you use on your face, under your eye and around your eye. I've created an illusion that my eyes are like this, and they're not, as you saw in the beginning. I never understood why mascara didn't work on me. I would wear mascara and I'd go home and I'm like, I'm mortified. I spent all day with mascara down to here. I look crazy. So it took me years to find a mascara that worked for me. I don't know if it's because some, a dermatologist told me that it was because my eyes produce a lot of oil. Don't know if that's true, but I found a waterproof lash sensation by Ma uh, Maybelline. I've been using this for years and will never use another mascara ever. It's the only one that works for me. Okay, so bottom mascara. If I'm gonna do it, this is how I'll do it. I'll wipe a little bit off. Maybe a lot off. And then Before I do lip, which is my last step, we're gonna revisit the Chanel with this big, fluffy brush. Just gonna, not necessary, it's a liquid. I want like a tan look today. Like I said, I throw this stuff all over my face. Down into the neck. Last but not least, lips. So, today's lip liner, I'm gonna be using the KKW 
lip nude too. My mom, I would, this was like my favorite part of her makeup routine was watching her do lips. And she always kind of took it right over. I have bigger lips, so I don't want to make them look crazy big. But I do think going a little bit over looks nice. You just don't see like that harsh line of your lip. I'm gonna dab it a little. It's not as intense. Okay, here's the concoction of my lip color. I'm gonna use NYX, which is my favorite cream lip matte situation. And this is in color 04. I'm obsessed with this. As you can tell, we're running low. So all over. And today I'm gonna do, on top of that, the Pat McGrath. I'm more of a gloss girl. I just, something about when my lips are like dry and matte, I just feel like they're just not sexy on me. I don't know, I think like a plump, glossy lip looks sexy on me. Preference. I'm gonna take this, this mane down. My perfume that I'm using right now is the Kylie Jenner lip perfume. I don't know what it's called. But one squirt, one squirt's enough. And then I'm gonna go in with the Sacred Rose Water or a cleansing mist. And I'm just gonna give myself a little distance spray. Get the look by Sophia R. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. It's not hard to achieve. And I hope you guys try it out.